utterly terrible. I can't believe the amount of cowardly behavior I'm seeing here. The post-millennial reports on something terribly tragic that has happened in Nova Scotia, home to one of the largest mistakes in shipping history. But uh, this ain't no history lesson here, because what this article has to report on is a couple being attacked by, and I quote, Middle Eastern men. But it is not just any couple, it is a lesbian couple during Pride Month that got attacked. Let us go forth with the article. A lesbian couple is recovering from their injuries after allegedly being beaten up by a mob of Middle Eastern men in downtown Halifax. Like I said y'all, home soil of how to not do shipyard management. Especially with a large amount of ammunition. A apologies, I'm just being a little insensitive here. Though, to continue. Emma McLean and her partner Tori were walking down the street on the evening of June 22nd when she said members of the group accosted them, levying sexually degrading and homophobic comments to them. When they stood up for themselves, the men attacked, and before I continue on, I just want to say the actions like what these men did should be shamed by everyone. If I was a parent and found out that my child did this to someone, my boot would be having a strongly worded message sent to their ass. I don't care who you are, but if you're a man and straight up attacking someone because they believe in something that you don't, I think that your name is a synopsis of garbage. Oh, they were drunk and off their rocker. So? I don't care that they might have been drunk or something. Their actions are despicable and should be maimed. You, as a man, are put onto Earth with an inherent greater amount of strength, and this is how you use it? No, these men should absolutely be shunned. Now, if you are like me, then you will be just as confused when I read out the next part. Quote, Police arrived on scene a short time later and spoke with members of the group who claimed it was the women who had gone after them. An investigation has been launched, however, no suspects have been identified and no charges have been filed. I think that it is terribly tragic that in Canada we are having the same issues that New York were having not too long ago. You know, where the women were just getting punched at random. But now it is happening in Canada. Now of course it is not the same thing, but how far off is it really? But uh, enough of me talking about what I'm thinking, let us look at what Emma McLean said about this in a Facebook post two days later. <clears throat> Thank you for everyone that has reached out and provided information or words of support so far. If there is any further information regarding this incident, please reach out to HRP. There have been many comments insinuating that my post is racially motivated as I said they were believed to be Syrian. To be clear, this was a descriptor used to identify these men, which has since been confirmed. As some of you may know, myself and my partner Tori were attacked on Saturday night by a group of 7 to 10 plus Middle Eastern men, believed to be from Syria, aged 18 to 25 on Agrol Street in downtown Halifax. One particular individual, wearing a red shirt with a walking boot, initially made a sexually degrading comment to me. My partner Tori and this man got into a verbal altercation where this individual made several disgusting slurs, some being homophobic. Following this, the 7 to 10 men attacked me and my partner throwing several punches and kicks to our faces, ribs, and etc. The outcome of this attack has resulted in a broken nose, chipped tooth, several bruises and lumps to our head, faces, etc. We are extremely thankful that things were not worse. If anyone has any further information, or had witnessed the event, or has personal video footage, I would be extremely grateful if you could share it. Stay safe and happy Pride Month. And once again, I cannot stress how terrible this news is that in Canada, people are having trouble feeling safe here. Now, I know that Canada is not all sunshine and rainbows, but for the most part you don't hear stories of people just being beaten for having different beliefs, or at least of to the degree of possibly over 10 men doing this to just two women. That is unbelievably heinous and deplorable. And the worst part is that this is possibly the same group that has already done it before. You heard that right. Down below Emma's update post, someone with this similar story who goes by Michaela says, 
Girl, I was attacked downtown by a group of guys. It seems like the same ones a couple of years ago, and I had handprints bruised on my arms because of how much they were pulling on me and trying to take me with them. A few of my friends showed up, but that is fucked up, and I hope you guys are okay, and they find these people because they got to be put behind bars. Like, isn't that just horrific to hear? A anywho, uh, let us now watch a video taken of the incident. Now, what are we doing? How you feel? Yeah, can I go look? Look, let me. Oh, terrible! Utterly terrible! I can't believe the amount of cowardly behavior I'm seeing here. You have some of the boys attacking the women for no apparent reason, and then you have some of the boys just standing around doing nothing. Is this the Canadian country that we want our future children to be grown up in? One where difference isn't allowed? I'm not saying to be inclusive of everything, but where did tolerance just exit the door entirely? Is this the land of freedom or the land of unmitigated judgment? Trash behavior. Utterly trash. Now, I am happy that the person recording just stood and did not interfere, because this recording is imperative to not only understanding, but also seeing trash behavior. Now, some of the people under that video are saying things like, so two liberal women got what they voted for. And that is also just as trash of a take as the men beating these women. How does being stupid in who you're voting for equate to being getting beaten for existing? And while I agree that Trudeau is a terrible prime minister, these ladies possibly being stupid and voting for him does not equate to violence being permissible. Me voting conservative doesn't make the trash can smell of roses, because it's still trash. And trash is going to reek of trash no matter how I vote. And likewise, this behavior is just as trash if these women don't vote for Trudeau. What? Am I to believe that if you found out these women actually voted for the correct Prime Minister, that being Pierre Polyev, that the action would somehow be more disgusting? Trash takes and trash actions are being found abound today. Now, someone did point out something that I do sort of agree with, from Cash Lauren. They might want to rethink that Queers for Palestine motto. And the reason why I say sort of agree is because the violence is still not permitted. This is quite possibly a 10 versus 2, and that is just gross. But why I agree is because the Pride Movement saying things like Queers for Palestine absolutely does end up with this action happening. Like, take every Pride person and put them in Palestine and see how long they live. Because it won't be for long. Palestine isn't really known for being accepting of outside culture, especially things that go completely against what they believe. So, this happening between possibly Palestinian people and Pride people isn't really the most shocking thing ever. Not saying it's right or good or anything like that, just saying that it is not, in the slightest, surprising. But where does this leave us off? Well, the dude saying, so two liberal women got what they voted for. While the statement is reprehensible to me, because it is just gross, I do agree that this is what voting liberal gets you. More crazy antics and crazy actions. And this is not the world that I want my future children to be a part of, because it is just gross and despicable. I think Trudeau has done such a terrible job of being anything good to Canada that this is just a consequence of people's actions for not voting him out a long time ago. So, the simplistic message is, vote conservative. Vote for Pierre, because anything at this rate is better than Trudeau doing nothing. A vote for conservative is a vote for Canada to be great again. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join a conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.